Dear friends, how are you all doing? Today, I have brought for you a brand new and fascinating video. In this video, I am going to reveal the hidden secrets of Mars, secrets you have never seen in any other video before. Images, facts, and discoveries that will not only surprise you, but also make you think deeply. This is Mars, a planet whose mysteries continue to astonish humanity. Once believed to be the home of gods, and at times seen as the possibility of another life. And today, we will closely explore its land, its rocks, and its hidden secrets. What you are about to see, you have never seen before. So stay connected with us, because every moment will reveal a new mystery, raise a new question, and give you a new answer. And yes, if you are new to our channel, make sure to watch the full video and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, give it a like and share it so this knowledge and curiosity can reach everyone. Also, send this video to your dear friends and don't forget to comment on what you like the most because your feedback is truly valuable to us. Mars has always fascinated humanity because it is both familiar and alien. It is the fourth planet from the sun orbiting at an average distance of about 228 million kilometers. That's roughly one and a half times farther from the sun than Earth. To the naked eye, Mars shines with a steady reddish glow, bright enough to stand out among the stars, but distant enough to spark endless curiosity. What gives Mars its signature color? The answer lies in its soil. The surface of Mars is coated in iron oxide, the same chemical compound that gives rust its color. Billions of years of exposure to the thin atmosphere and solar radiation turned the rocks and dust into a reddish landscape. So much so that even from Earth, we can see Mars glowing red. But Mars is more than just a red desert. It is a world of extremes. Temperatures can plunge below 60 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Its atmosphere is about 100 times thinner than Earth's, made mostly of carbon dioxide. And yet, when you look at Mars closely, it is hauntingly Earth-like. It has mountains, valleys, volcanoes, polar ice caps, dust storms, and even seasons. What if Mars is not a dead planet? What if beneath the silence of its rusty deserts and frozen dunes, Something still breathes, something microscopic, something hidden, something watching. For decades, scientists have told us that Mars is barren, a wasteland stripped of air and warmth. Yet time and time again, the planet itself seems to resist that label. Strange chemical signatures, unexplained seasonal changes, subtle whispers in its soil and atmosphere, each clue teases the possibility that Mars may not be empty after all. Tonight, we will dive deep, not into rocks or geology, not into water or craters, but directly into the question, could there still be life on Mars? One of the strongest hints comes from the air itself. The Martian atmosphere is thin, yes, but it is not dead. Telescopes and rovers have repeatedly detected traces of methane gas, sometimes surging mysteriously and then vanishing again. On Earth, the largest natural source of methane is life. Microbes deep beneath the soil produce it as a byproduct of metabolism. Mars shows no active volcanoes today. So what then is breathing on Mars? Imagine, somewhere under the Martian crust, Sheltered from deadly radiation, ancient microbes could still be alive, slowly releasing methane into the thin sky. They may not be visible, they may never crawl or walk, but in their silence, they speak through chemistry. In 1976, NASA's Viking landers performed experiments on Martian soil. To the surprise of scientists, when nutrients were added, the soil produced a reaction like Earth's soil full of bacteria would. Many dismissed it as chemical trickery. But some argued, what if that trick was not chemistry at all, but biology? Decades later, 
modern rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance found more hints. Organic molecules buried in the dirt. Carbon-based compounds that are the very building blocks of life. Not fossils, not proof, but whispers. And whispers matter when you are listening to a silent planet. If life exists on Mars today, it does not live on the surface. The surface is hell, frozen, irradiated, dry. But just a few meters beneath, the story could be different. Imagine microscopic colonies clinging to thin veins of water locked in ice, hidden in caves or lava tubes. On Earth, extremophiles, bacteria that survive in boiling acid in Antarctic ice, even inside nuclear reactors, have proven that life does not need comfort. It only needs opportunity. Mars, with its underground ice sheets and seasonal temperature changes, may still host such extremophiles. To them, Mars is not dead. To them, Mars is home. Now let us imagine something extraordinary. What if these organisms are not like the microbes we know? What if they evolved under Mars's unique conditions, shaping themselves into unfamiliar forms? Perhaps they are transparent, living crystals, pulsing with energy from the planet's magnetic field. Perhaps they are red, blending perfectly with the dust. Invisible to our eyes, yet everywhere around us. Perhaps they breathe carbon dioxide instead of oxygen, turning the very poison of our lungs into their life force. On Earth, life has taken unimaginable forms. Glowing jellyfish in the deep ocean, microscopic tardigrades that survive the vacuum of space. Is it really impossible to imagine that Mars has its own library of strange creatures, perfectly adapted to a world we call inhospitable? There are photographs taken by rovers, satellites, telescopes that show oddities. Small structures shaped like filaments, strange spheres scattered across the soil, patterns that resemble microbial mats. NASA and scientists rarely call them life. They use words like curiosity, anomaly, or unusual geological feature. But what if these are not mistakes? What if these are faint signatures of biology? A fossilized trace here, a microscopic shadow there, fragments of a Martian ecosystem that never fully died. Sometimes, the silence of official voices is itself an answer. Here lies the deeper mystery. If Mars does harbor life, why has it remained hidden? Perhaps it is not hidden at all. Perhaps we are simply not ready to see. Our instruments search for Earth-like biology but what if Martian life follows rules beyond our imagination? What if life there does not even use DNA, but some other molecule as its code? What if it grows so slowly that to us it appears frozen, dead, unmoving, yet to itself it thrives across millennia? The question is not just whether life could exist, but whether we even know how to recognize it when we see it. Every discovery of methane, every organic compound, every strange reaction in the soil pushes us closer to a truth that feels forbidden. Mars may not be an empty rock orbiting the sun. It may be a living planet, its heartbeat faint, its breath shallow, but alive nonetheless. And if this is true, then everything changes. Life is not unique to Earth. Life is a universal law, a force that refuses to be confined. If Mars, with its cold deserts and thin air, can still cradle life, then the universe is teeming with it. So as we stare at the silent red planet, we must ask, are we looking at a graveyard or are we peering into a hidden garden? Perhaps one day, when our machines dig deeper, when our eyes adjust to what truly lies beneath, we will finally see them. 
The first Martians, not imagined, not myth, but real, seen. And when that moment comes, humanity will face a truth more profound than any war, any empire, any history we have ever written. We were never alone. The rock itself is dark basaltic, shaped by ancient volcanic eruptions. Its outer surface is coated with a thin layer of iron oxide, the same mineral that paints Mars in its crimson hue. But just beneath the dust, something glimmers faintly when the sunlight hits at the right angle. I brush away the fine powder, and what emerges makes me freeze. Striations, parallel lines, too precise, too deliberate. They intersect at angles, forming geometric designs. Some grooves curve like ripples, others form almost perfect hexagonal clusters. Under magnification, I notice tiny crystalline structures embedded within, arranged in a way that defies randomness. Even more striking is the presence of tiny crystal deposits aligned in near-perfect symmetry. On Earth, such crystallization occurs only under controlled conditions, sometimes in laboratories, sometimes in rare hydrothermal vents. How, then, could it exist here, on a planet supposedly barren for eons? As I rotate the rock, I notice something chilling, a cavity. Inside the hollow are smaller fragments, shiny, metallic-like inclusions. They pulse faintly under the spectrometer, reflecting wavelengths inconsistent with normal Martian basalt. Almost as if they were alloys, this discovery rattles every assumption. If these inclusions are natural, then Mars harbors mineralogical processes unknown to us. The question remains, is this discovery real evidence of life or a ghost of geology pretending to be something greater? Science demands patience, but wonder demands imagination. And as I set this rock back onto the Martian soil, I know this. One day, perhaps soon, humanity will uncover the full truth. And when we do, Mars will no longer be the Red Desert. It will be remembered as the place where we first found that we were not alone. Thank you for watching till the end. You were watching all about Mars surface. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it share it with your friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback and support mean a lot to us. For more exciting and informative content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. I'll be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, take care and stay connected with All About Mars Service. Thanks for watching.